two things we're going to cover today. One, what is happening with cross swap and what is likely to happen with Avalanche, the layer one blockchain from a technical standpoint of buying and selling behavior. So if you like today's content and you want to help support the channel, I would really appreciate a like because it makes a big difference to our channel. Like, forget about the subscribe. If you like the content, subscribe later on. So if you don't know me by now, my name is Jigi. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro, featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008, where I used to focus on only currencies, but now exclusive on cryptocurrency. So with CrossWap, you know, there's not much happening with the price, right? This is the overall price action on CoinMarketCap. Go to their website. Still taking the cross-chain trading experience to, the, to a new level. However, they've not really communicated that well. So the project still has legs, you know, in terms of what it's likely to do. So we look at the Telegram on the, if I just pull this over, can I pull this over? Yeah, if I just look at the Telegram, you know, the last update was really around that the, that the Twitter account is back up because there was a lot of fear, uncertainty and doubt fight around the Twitter. They just said on the 7th of February, which is around a month ago, um, Hello Community, our official Twitter page has been taken down in error by Twitter. We are aware of the issues, da 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 We appreciate your patience. And then they did another announcement to say, Twitter page is back up. Twitter page is back up. So that concern has now been alleviated by many. This is their Twitter page. Again, they had a couple of posts. Uh, nothing really about the project itself. More, more just the uh, Bluezilla ecosystem, the ROI of some of the latest projects that have been launched. Crosswap was in, I guess it was top nine, right? Top nine in terms of the all-time high. It did a 38X and Meta VPad did a 481, actually 1290. 1290 was like the, the spike, but the more average price was 481. Um, a few other things, you know, the Happy New Year. So the update of Crosswap is really that there, there, isn't, there isn't anything new to update. So they've been pretty consistent in not communicating in the sense of they've done the medium articles to educate people on what is cross what, what's the problem, what's the five parts of the DEX problem that they're solving, making it better for IDOs as in the projects and investors to have a better user experience and with more safety and everything else. So all of that stands. But right now in regards to, you know, the markets are down, there's a lot of fear in the market Really, we just, we just need to wait for version one. So the way I see it is, it's huddle or do what you what you're gonna do, but it's really version one of their decks is the major news announcement that we're waiting for. When is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? Well, that's the part. That's the that's the whole risk with with low caps because on their roadmap, if we just scroll down on their website, I believe it was. Let's have a quick glance. It was here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. And if I just pull up the Tool again says um, Q2. Well, Q1 was Q4, should I say, of 2021 was when we was was anticipating version one of their decks. So you know, life happens, business happens, delays happen, but it's just not being communicated that well. So you know, there was a few other things that were supposed to be happening this quarter. Are they on track? Are they off track? We have no idea because we're not mind readers. So that's the update. The update is there's no real update other than. The Twitter accounts back live, you know, there was a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt around that. But there's nothing else to be said. But I know it's a common question that's coming up in the comments. I'm looking at your comments. My team's pulling the comments up to myself and say, what's the CrossSwap update? I go, well, they're due to integrate with CrossWallet in Q2. And CrossWallet hasn't launched version one yet, but they're still in their testing phase. So they want to make sure that product is ready. And um, yeah, so we're just waiting. So if CrossSwap, if your team's watching this, give us an update. You know, on Twitter, are you off track? Are you on track? When is version one of the decks likely to be launched? Are you waiting for Bitcoin's price to increase? Are you waiting for optimism to come back into the market? Um, are you off track? Is it like the, the business is struggling? Are we looking for new team members to get the development going? You know, you know, we're not mind readers over here. So it'd be great for the CrossSwap community if the team of CrossSwap could actually give an update of some sort um, just to give people a better peace of mind of what's likely to occur because the price is not always a reflection of a project. You know, I was saying to someone else the other day, you know, they were asking me about a couple of DEXs and I said, we want to also take, take into account perspective of the market conditions. I'm just looking at Uniswap right now. And when I look at Uniswap, 
It's been a bit slow. Here we go. Uniswap is 86% down or 81% down from its all-time high. PancakeSwap, something similar. Um, so all DEXs are down. And CrossSwap hasn't launched this DEX yet. So the price is significantly down. But there you have it. That's my update for CrossSwap. But now we're going to focus on technicals. Technicals for Avalanche. Yes, we did a video on Avalanche. I think it was on the 5th of May. I think I got it over here. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Bam, this was the video that we did on Avalanche. And what we said on the 5th of May was only, well, uh, three, four days ago. It looks like we're making an A, B, C correction. So a wave one, an A, B, C correction. And then we should anticipate a wave three. And this whole sequence looks like a, a one, two, three, four, and then a wave five. So, you know, I do a lot of stuff on Elliott Wave and Fibonacci. And a lot of people have a lot of questions. If you want to get more access to myself, you can actually join my private Telegram. How do you get access? If you buy one of my courses, so you take my free masterclass, if you like it, buy one of my courses, only 97 pounds, you get access to the free or the private Telegram. We have more access and we do a few workshops every week so you can ask your questions directly. So when it comes to Avalanche, what we can see over here is a nice move to the upside over here. That's bigger than any other move over here to the upside. That's called an overbalance of price. And we always anticipate an ABC correction. So that's what I'm going to focus on next. I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to zoom in. So, sorry, big, big picture first. Big picture. Markets moves in fives and threes. One, two, three, four. And it looks like we're unfolding into a wave five. So we should anticipate all-time new highs for Avalanche. That's what the probability states based on the dynamic of the mood of the psychological buying and selling behavior. But now we want to look at what is this section telling us? over here. What's this section telling us? Well, it's telling us what well, looks pretty clean, pretty clean in the sense of a nice wave. One, two, three, four, five, and a minor wave count. So we're just going to make them smaller because there's waves within the waves. That's what we want to really realize. And then on a correction, we should typically expect an A, B, C. So it looks on track. So we did a video not that long ago with Avalanche. Again, this is what the video stated. It was this. We went into great depth in, in this video in itself. Like literally what, what's likely to occur next and why. So I would highly encourage just going, going over right, that video. But with, with, in regards to Avalanche, it looks good. It looks good. I, should, I would anticipate potentially a lower low being made in this region. But what we want to also take into consideration, the momentum is now turning bullish. So it may take off. I mean, to be honest, what I would do, I don't normally go into lower time frames, but we will today. I'm gonna to go into an hourly chart. And what I would look for on an hourly chart is if I just zoom in like this, I know it looks like a lot of noise, right? There's a lot of noise in this chart. Let me just, uh, I'll just change it to a line chart. So it's a bit cleaner and clearer. Uh, let me just double check something. So I'm doing this live. I don't normally go into the smaller time frames, but what I want to do is just make it clear for us what we're looking at. So when I go into the hourly chart, you'll see this. Well, hopefully you'll see this pink box. Why is it not showing? That's where this day is. Yeah, it's, it's this, this section of the market that we're looking at over here, down here. Uh, it doesn't give us any extra information. Let me just go into a four-hour chart. I just want to make sure. What is going on? Why are these? Oh, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know why. Let me just double check. Why? That is weird. All right, my chart, for some reason, the top right-hand corner is Avalanche. And the rest of them are Binance coin. All right, that's weird. All right, let me just, um, you know, it is what it is. I guess it's that over here. Okay. That is weird. All right, I'm going to correct this. I'm going to correct this. Bear with me. I'm just going to go here. That is strange. All right. So with Avalanche, let's just go. Okay, I'm going to quickly do this. AVAX. AVAX. I was, I was wondering, it didn't quite hang together. We just want to go to Binance. AVAX, this is what we want. I want all of them to be AVAX. Here we go. Now we've got, we got the right data. Okay, that makes more sense. 
I was wondering why the hourly chart weren't looking right. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Don't ask me why that happened. That, you know, it's, it's life, it happens. So let's just have a look over here. So what I'm looking at over here is, does the hourly chart give us any more valuable information? So what it shows me is, you know, one, two, three, four, five, it's pretty clean. It looks like this is the wave A low. Look at this nice A, B, C correction. And we should anticipate this and this should be similar, right? So I'm just gonna have a quick play around with the four hour chart as well. I just wanna see a couple of things. Just from the momentum perspective, You know, because what, what I'm looking what I'm looking for right now is is there any major clues that we are finishing a five wave sequence before exceeding this low? But it doesn't seem to be other than momentum. And pattern overrides momentum, right? So when I'm looking at the daily chart, I know I'm moving around a bit over here, but when we're looking at okay, the momentum is turning bullish, as in this blue line has literally crossed over the red. But this low has not exceeded this low. And my preference would be that it does exceed the low because it's a cleaner A, B, C zigzag. And we have some price targets that we want to look at. And the two, and we'll finish up on this, that I would like to look at is the 100% alternate price projection and also the retracement, the price retracement of this wave. These are significant support zones for AVAX. Now we covered this in the last video in a lot of depth, but the key ratios that we want to be aware of is 78.6 and 62%. They're the two that I really want to pay attention to. And I also want to just pay attention to the 62% alternate price projection. So these are two key ranges. So we might get some type of double bottom. Um, but my preference would be, if we're looking at AVAX to take a position, that it gets into this zone over here, and then look for an opportunity. But it may take off before then. I know we covered a lot there. We covered a lot. If you're not used to Elliott Fibonacci, take my free Elliott Fibonacci Masterclass. It's in the link below. You know, we cover this in, in depth. You know, macro pictures, the three key roles of Elliott Fibonacci. And if you want more access to myself, just, you know, people want to ask me questions directly. We, we hold weekly workshops for people that are in my private community. To get access, just purchase my course. It's 97 pounds. It's under 90% discount right now. So it's normally 997. Um, but there you have it. AVAX looking good. AVAX, so if we just summarize, I know we covered it quite fast, but I covered it in more detail in the last video. One, two, three, four. Looks like it's good to hit one of these price zones over here for wave five, but it's making a one, two, of a wave three, of a five, and then a four, of a five, five, of a five that we would anticipate with AVAX. So there you have it, there you have it. So cross wallet, not cross wallet, cross swap, sorry, cross swap. No raw update other than the update is there is no update and I'm calling out the team. Cross swap team, what are you doing? Let us know, give us some update, a Twitter post. We're on track, we're off track. The DEX is gonna be launched in 2022. Is it Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4? What's happening? An update would be much appreciated. And with Avalanche, it's looking good for bullish, like this, this correction, a wave two is a retest of the wave one. And it acts normally as a launch pad for a wave three, and it tends to be quite impulsive. That's looking highly probable. Let's finish on a quote. It's quote of the day. It's one of my favorites, one of my favorites. It's from chapter one, actually. And the name of the chapter is actually, you must be in it to win it. So I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Michael Jordan, my friends. So, you know, cross swap, depending on where you bought, where you, where you sold, or where you're at in the position, you know, that's like one of the shots. And we don't want to put all of our eggs into one basket, have proper risk management, knowing that the lower the market cap of the project, the earlier it is, the higher the risk, the more mature it is. So we covered almost like the two extremes. Cross swap is really low cap, which has pros and cons, and then AVAX is really high cap. You know, it's a top 100, top 10, top 20 cryptocurrency. I don't even know where it's positioned right now. But it's a top 20 cryptocurrency, I believe. And if it takes off, it'll probably become a top 15, top 10 if it's not already. So there you have it. But if you want more access to me, 
by the course. Take the free alleyway Fibonacci Masterclass and I'll see you very soon.